Um, we discovered the analog sound was closest to the original performance. So we put a piano in the studio. We'd listen on one million dollar monitor amp digital consoles. We have the artist play and the artist would play a piece and we'd all stand and listen and we'd record it to tape. We'd have him come in or, or her and it was a joke. CDs were terrible. They were washed out. And MP3s, even worse, because remember, CD is the master for compressed audio. It became clear that if digital audio was going to be the future, I was going to have to work really hard uh, to try and make digital sound better. Um, to build a digital audio engine that replaced some of the life and depth and warmth that had been lost through the sampling was, was an incredible challenge. And I thought, eh, it could take a couple of years. Um, I, just, I started Sonic Focus on December 12, 1995 at that first webcast. Um, our first product was in 2001. So if I'd known it would take me six years to make audio sound better, I probably wouldn't have done it. But in the meantime, we came up with a good idea to fund Sonic Focus, because everybody said, oh, compressed audio. Went to the venture people. They said, no, no, compressed audio, what's that? No iTunes, no iPod. It's just one of those fringe things that people do on the net, right? So we couldn't get anybody to give us money. So I thought, OK, I'm going to fund the company myself. So we came up with an idea of a new concept for a website, which would be a music-powered website. So we did webcasts. We already knew how to do those. We decided to sell CDs online. And we would fund that uh, effort for Sonic Focus for making MP3 sound better through creating uh, an online store that would create value. It, it was a new business model. This was long before iTunes. To fund Sonic Focus, we created an internet store. But what was unique about our internet store is that we didn't just sell CDs. We gave away one complete free song to get you to go buy the CD. And that was pretty unusual. Most everybody gave away snippets. We got webcasts, and we drove business to the site, and we sold lots of records. Um, we became an online record service. That w you know, There are a lot of those models out there today that um, some have failed and some have worked. Mostly nobody buys CDs anymore, but remember, this is, this is mid-90s and people are still buying CDs. So we funded Sonic Focus with that visionary site. Um, we we got a lot of feedback from the fans. The fans said, yeah, I really like that rip you did of this song, but you know, could you change it because the bass is a little funny? So we continued our focus testing into making compressed audio sound better through that revenue generating site. We, uh, we funded a lot of research. We brought lots of people in to make compressed audio sound better. And initially, we encoded the compressed audio and put it on the site without playback, primarily because the, the DSPs of that day and, and our code efficiency wasn't wasn't so good, so we did a push or a download so the music actually, the sonic focus was embedded in the compressed audio. Um, but our goal, once again, was to fill in the holes created by the low sample rate, created by compressing the audio. And it was my passion to make digital audio sound better. Um, I think your passion is probably around selling products. And you may or may not stay up nights thinking about enhancing the consumer experience, as, as Carl was alluding to. I don't know. I think you should. The customers that we've licensed our engine to bake off against their competitors. And these are tier one customers. I can't really say who. You'll, you'll see lots of products coming uh, with the Sonic Focus and the ARC brands this year, but um, uh, suffice it to say, we, we have some tier one customers that are uh, standardizing on Sonic Focus. So what we see them doing is they bake off against their competitor in the same sector. They put their box up with Sonic Focus Engine, which you can know with a logo or not know, depending on the license, uh, that, that our engine is powering it. Uh, some people want the logo, some 
Some pay more money and don't have the logo, but anyway. So they bake off against their competitors, and there's no comparison. Everyone that hears it, in fact, we haven't had one person out of hundreds of people say, oh, I'm choosing brand X over here. Um, so the audio experience is good. The people building products believe that the audio experience matters, because eventually, as storage goes down and processing costs less, and the hardware becomes less differentiating. What do you have? You have an audio experience. Um, so I think Sonic Focus tips the scale in your favor if you have a product that you want to differentiate over your customer's product. You probably ask yourself, how do I get high quality audio? All things being equal, the better product is always going to sell over the, over the worst product, or the better sounding product is always going to differentiate over the worst sounding product, all things being equal. A tier one US PC OEM, once again, can't name names here, uh, is standardized on Sonic Focus Adaptive Dynamics products, because this company knows that today good enough is no longer acceptable to the consumer. This company sees a direct connection between the consumer experience and the tens of millions of products that they sell each year. One of the key benefits of Sonic Focus technology that, is that it significantly enhances the consumer experience. What does this mean? It means bringing the listener closer to the original performance. I think that really matters. Uh, it's our goal to help consumer electronics manufacturers connect customers emotionally. Emotionally. Do people have an emotional connection to electronics devices? Is that possible? Do they feel that emotion that I felt when I listened to Asia with the moving coil cartridges? Do you feel that when you pull out your consumer device and you put on your headphones? Do you have an emotional connection to your device? You should, and if you have Sonic Focus, you will. It's pretty hard to turn our process off if you have that capability, and some OEMs don't allow their users to turn our process off because it actually makes their product sound not so good anymore and they sort of sound like brand X without our stuff running. Um, so because we create an emotion, people remember that. And consumers tell their friends, hey, this, this is cool. You know, cool wins. And cool is emotional. So by dramatically improving audio for movies, music, and games, we can allow you to look like the good guys, to look like the guys that have given the customer something that they can relate to, something that feels good to them. But don't take my word for it. Go over and listen to our audio studio. We spent hours last night tuning it up. It's pretty nice over there, actually. Got some people that can show you some products that, uh, that sound very, very good. And I think, I think you'll really understand what I'm talking about when you go do some listening tests. It's like wine tasting. You know, got to try it. You're not going to know. Um, I've seen higher quality audio sell products. I was hired to build a studio underground, unlimited budget. No one ever hears that story in consumer electronics. Unlimited budget. These are people with nothing but money, and they have jets, and they have Ferraris, and they say, just make it work. I just love projects like that. The problem is they go on forever, because unlimited budget means they own your soul for you know, years. Um, so I, I said yes, and um, we ended up creating the world's best studio. No expense spared. We dug down into solid granite to get another 18 inches to create a floating floor that eliminated base because in this room we thought there'd be some base problems. They said, no problem, we'll just dig down into the granite. And You know, that took about six months. Anyway, this, this studio top, attracted top talent like Bruce Springsteen. Why? Because we spared no expense at creating the best audio experience available. 